All right, welcome everyone. Uh, we're going to go through gameplay of the baseball sub suggestions, whatever to help you do substitutions fairly, uh, especially useful if you're doing a single team replay. So we're going to join a game already in progress, as they say. Um, top of the six, six to four, and California and Seattle, opening day 1979. Uh, we just went to the top of the six, so as always, when the inning changes, we come over here, double click from bottom five, top six again. You're going to see things happening in the background. It's going to check for pinch hitting in the upcoming inning, pinch running, and defensive replacements. This is still more of a concept than a functional application. It works, but it's still obviously going to be refined. Um, when you're checking to see if you could pinch it for anybody at all in the inning, then it's kind of silly. You don't know base runners that and the other, this, that, and the other. So I will probably refine the data over time so that it becomes more of a strategic tool as well as a player usage tool. So we're just going to go ahead here and uh, play some more uh, of this game. The interesting thing was in the bottom of the fourth, uh, still had a no-hitter for Tanana. Um, but that got botched, so I was kind of hoping that we would end up with that before. Uh, still, when we get to the um, demo here. So that's the end of the six. We had no suggestions in the top of the six. We go to the bottom of the six. All right, so if we get to Mario Mendoza, right, who is infamous, as we all know, for the Mendoza line, 200. If we get to Mendoza in the lineup, we are going to pinch it for him. And I doubt we're going to get there. I'm going to leave the starting pitchers in here for now. Um, so we continue to play our game. If we get to Mendoza, we're going to go ahead and pinch it. We did not, right, went to the top of the seventh. Over here to the top of seventh, still six to four. No recommendations. So we're just going to go ahead and roll the dice. Now, the one thing um, that I've said in all the other videos is it does not tell you when to pull a pitcher. Um, there's at least to me, there's I think too many variables. Um, I do use the status pro fatigue and tend to replace pitchers especially when I'm playing a National League game, when they get down to one or two on their remaining uh, fatigue. But let's say we want to remove Glenn Abbott right now. It's the top of the seventh, and he's had enough. We want to come over here and, and uh, relieve him. We can do one of two things, right? We can double-click the Seattle Mariners bullpen and then answer the questions. If we want any reliever, a righty or a lefty, just pick one based on usage. Or I want to select a righty or a lefty. I click yes if I want anybody, if I click no if I want to specify uh, the handedness of a pitcher. Go ahead and click on yes. Tells me to replace with uh, Shane Raleigh. The other way I can do it, and this is going, this is, this is added last night, it's going to automatically um, replace your pitcher for you. You're, you don't, you know, if I went to the Seattle bullpen like I did just a minute ago, it said Shane Raleigh, I didn't really want to bring in Raleigh. Then I would go ahead and, and put in my own reliever or what have you. If I right click on the pitcher or technically any of the anybody in the lineup here, I say yes, give me one. And they still it still mathematically chose Shane Raleigh. Mathematically and randomly chose Raleigh. So we're now gonna come over here and uh, let's see. We want to replace Abbott, sorry. It's been a while since I played much of NP3. And now I'm going to come down here, choose Shane Raleigh, change pitcher. And now Raleigh is pitching. Um, so let's go ahead and finish this inning out. All right, we go to the top of the bottom of the seventh. It's still six to four. It's going to have no suggestions. So unless I'm going to pull the starter, which I am going to do in this point, in this case, I'm going to choose a pitcher. We're going to bring in Mark Clear. So this auto uh, suggestion, the auto relief, the auto 
sub, etc. Letting uh, letting the application pick the substitutions is really good. Like I said, if you're doing a single team replay or you want to get your um, player usage right. All right, still six to four. We go to the top of the eight. Over here, go to the top of the eight. No suggestions for any changes. So we're going to continue to play our inning. We go to the bottom of the eight. All right, a couple of suggestions here now. If Tom Pachorek gets on base, the application says pinch run for him. If Mario Mendoza comes up to the plate, the application says pinch hit for him. Uh, we are at Stein, so it's unlikely we're going to get to Pachorek again or Mendoza. But if we do, we will make those changes. And since uh, clear is still a B in uh, MP3, I'm going to go ahead and leave them here. We got two on. Looper Jones is up. Pachorek is on deck. All right, bases are loaded, so I'm going to go ahead and replace clear. Uh, Pachorek is coming up. I'm going to ask for a righty. I want no to choose whether I want, and I want no for a righty. Click le yes for lefty, click right. Click no for a righty. And Don Ase is going to come in. So we're going to go double click. We're going to bring in Ase. All right, so here's Pachorek. Now, if Pachorek gets on, we were going to pinch run for him. But now there's been a substitution. The numbers, the calculations change or get redone. Now we're not going to pinch run for Pachorek. He did reach base. Even though now it's not saying pinch run, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to pinch run. Um, again, we can do it one of two ways. I can come over here to the Seattle Mariners bench. I can say I click no for a pinch runner and it will suggest Joe Simpson come in or I can come over here, right click on Tom Pachorek, choose a pinch runner. And this time it chose, chose Orlando Ramirez. Didn't put Ramirez in, I will fix that. Well, that's interesting. Oh yeah, okay. My apologies there. I don't have the code written for both sides. <laughs> so um, that will work in version four. Um, my apologies. Uh, apparently I've got it hard coded to always check the visitors and not check visitor or home. So um, we're going to continue on here. That's the end of the inning with Titan six. Anyway, sorry for the mix up uh, again. That's why we call it a beta. Um, the Excuse me. The that will all get fixed before we go live. Um, again, very much concept. If you download the um, application and run it through its paces, so to speak, appreciate any feedback. Um, you can download the application on baseballsimresearch.com. But uh, the earlier training videos, explanation videos, kind of showed. Uh, how to use it, but I wanted to show you how you use it with a sim that you're using. Um, it's probably, quote, easier, unquote, to use with regular cards and dice um, because you don't have all that clicking back and forth. And you can leave that up on the screen, etc. But it does work with computer sims as well, as you saw here today. So uh, download it, run it through its paces, let me know what you think, and that's it from here.